tried to back under tower and didn't respect me. Showtime. So. Since I've made a mistake of some kind. Hey, pick off somebody your own size. Can we just hit everything. Just continue hitting this guy. I don't think he can kill us. We kill this guy too. And uh, yeah, we're godlike. Hello, one and all, and welcome to another exciting episode of Escape from Elo Hell. I'm your humble host, Graham Scrubberfly, and today I'm going to be playing Ezreal AD Carry. Uh, Ezreal is a really fun character, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think he's the strongest right now, but we're going to give it a try anyway. Uh, if you don't know what Ezreal does, I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, his passive is it, he gets 10% attack speed every time that he hits a spell, uh, up to five times. Uh, his Q is a straight line skill shot, deals some damage to the first uh, enemy hit. Uh, w does not affect minions, only hits champions, uh, and then detonates uh, after you hit another spell on them. Your E is a short range blink that shoots a projectile that does magic damage to the nearest enemy or anything uh, marked by your W. And then your ultimate ability is a global uh, area of effect nuke uh, that does more damage to the first enemy that it hits. So now that you're caught up on what Ezreal does, um, right now we are facing a Twitch and a Shen in the bot lane. We're still playing an Iron. I believe I'm sitting at about 70 or 80 LP. Uh, so we're going to see how we work with this Braum. And I wanted to play AD Carry because number one, I really like Ezreal. And number two, uh, I just haven't played AD Carry yet. I've played top, mid, and jungle. Uh, so I wanted to play AD Carry as well, uh, just so we could get a good idea of every single role. He just stole my minion. He he doesn't have stacks of his support item, and I don't know that he realizes that. Uh, so we'll just poke them with our Q, try to get some CS. When you have the push, it's a lot easier to poke people, uh, as well as it just gives you an advantage on XP uh, and tempo. So you want to get pushes whenever you can. Uh, it's very rare that you want to be in a lane where you're not getting the push. Brother, you don't have the support. He's just stealing my golds. I'm gonna get E second. They have a lease in here. I have arrived. Let him jump to me. Just hit the lease in. We don't want to overcommit onto this, but we do want to possibly kill this man. He flashed. Get that first blood. Uh, so 3v2, and we end up with a kill. So hell yeah, we love that for us. So Ezreal generally is just someone who pokes a lot. Uh, if you get ahead on him, he does a lot of burst damage, and my support's probably gonna die here, but... I can just scare him off. Uh, and here we wanna back because we want to... Don't take that from me, please. Uh, we're just gonna back here so that we can spend our gold as well as not die. Uh, because our minions are in at the tower, this wave will slow push towards us, uh, so we will not lose a lot. Uh, by backing here and I'm gonna go ahead and I don't have enough for, I do have enough for my sheen if I just wait a couple of gold So we're gonna go ahead and grab our sheen. That's a really good first back for Ezreal uh, We also want to get our tier because we want to get that stacking uh, But we want to get this because it will help us maintain our lead uh, which is very important I'm gonna be a lot stronger than them on this back. He didn't buy anything. He's still on Doran's blade It looks like my support is dying And I can't keep chasing them into this wave. It will kill me. Uh, if I were to keep chasing into this wave, I would die because they do a lot of damage. I am going to try to drop it off outside of turret range so that it doesn't bounce and I can get a freeze here because that will just continue to maintain my golden XP lead. Uh, I'm not doing a great job on farming right now, but that is okay. I haven't played Ezreal in a while. I did get the cannon, which is very important. Uh, we're going to max Q as well. Uh, and right now, we're just going to farm these minions. I can't tank these to continue the freeze. Uh, so unfortunately, they're going to get back and be able to farm these. Uh, but the good news is that they did lose an entire wave for backing here. So uh, it's not that bad. I kind of want to just back here and, well, oh no! Well, I could back or I could just kill this guy. Got him. I'm just going to focus on this fight for a second, and we get the double kill, which is huge for us. Now we can push this wave in. They'll miss all these uh, minions on gold and XP, which is very, very important. Uh, if Lee Sin comes down here, he'd probably kill my support, but I don't think he'll be able to kill me. Uh, do I can get this plate real quick as well. 
just to get some more gold, and then I'm gonna back. Uh, I'm gonna grab full boots as well, just to keep me speedy, and then we will run back to lane. Okay, so as we're returning to lane, we can take a look. He has tier two boots and a Doran's Blade. I have tier two boots, a Doran's Blade, a tier, and a Sheen. So I'm ahead on gold. Uh, I'm also ahead in XP. I have a level on him right now. Uh, while the wave is also pushing into me, he's like, he's gonna die to this Twitch right now, is what's about to happen. He needs to respect. Um, and that is one thing that is kind of the, the rub of being in bot lane, is that you have someone who is with you. Although he's freezing the lane. Does he know that he's freezing the lane? That's crazy. I mean, if he walks up, I can kill him. Uh, it looks like something's happening in the jungle. So I'm going to walk over here and just try to, like, deter them from walking over. Because I don't want my team to die. But um, we're also not in a position to be able to engage on them. But I will send my ult over here. Let's put a ward here. I think we can win this. We're gonna shift forward, try to get this kill. I'm gonna flash forward, send a Q, he dies. Okay, I can kill him as well if I can get onto him. Hit him with a Q, keep walking. I don't wanna walk in there because I don't have a ward and I'm very scared. I know that Twitch has like no health, but uh, the Lee Sin does. And oh, they're coming this way. What is he doing? I'm gonna come here. Cause this is clearly where he's gonna walk. He's gonna keep walking this way, is he not? Um, but I'm not going to shift because I want to be able to. That's fine. I don't get the kill. That's okay. I don't need the kill. I just need him to not get away. And I was kind of playing a goalkeeper there. Uh, so that's fine. Right now, this Twitch has like no health. So I'm going to try to sniff him out. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's our jungler is doing dragon. So I'm going to try to push this in. Well, never mind. He finished it. We didn't even need to help him. Uh, Twitch is going to have to back. So we're cool with pushing this. We could also let it push into us, uh, but trying to communicate that to my support is not something I want to try to do mid game. So I'm just going to allow us to keep pushing instead. And we can go ahead and get a plate off of this. Now he's blocking my autos with his W, so can't actually do anything right now, but I really just want this plate. I don't really care about killing him, to be honest. I have 1,300 gold, so I kind of just want to push this in and then back. Uh, when Twitch comes back, he... Yep, there's the engage. Oh, he ulted, so... Get that ult. Well, if that hits, it probably kills him. Uh, I don't know that we're in a position to really try to fight them right now. My support has no HP. I'm going to pop both of my potions, both a potion and a biscuit to try to get some health and mana back. Yeah. We see Lee Sin mid um, over here, so we know that he's not down here, so I'm going to go and shove this. I missed my Q on a minion, which is a little embarrassing. All right, so running back, a lane, back to lane again, we still have an item advantage, we still have an XP advantage, and we can also see um, that I have 70 CS to his 37. So, you know, we have a very big lead on CS, which not only our kills and everything, but our CS as well. We don't want to fight in this wave. I, I don't want to. I'm just going to ping him off because I'm not interested in fighting this. We might be able to kill them, but I just want the CS, and he's taking a lot of damage just kind of sitting there and letting them hit him. So, or I'm saying wait for R, but he keeps walking up. Like, what are you doing there, bud? I'm just do some damage to them. I still want to get this wave. Like, that whole fight, um, great that my Braum didn't die. He's just kind of walking up for no reason. I just want this wave. I don't want to fight them right now. I just want to farm. So, them not dying there is a little unfortunate, but also I, I don't care that much because I already have a lead. Killing them isn't that impactful. What's impactful is getting these waves in and then trying to do work on the map. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, try to get some gold from our tower plates and try to um, roam around the map and get some stuff done. It looks like I can probably get this turret plate, so that's what I'm going to work on right now. We see Lee Sin top. Uh, there's no way I'm doing anything up there right now so we're just gonna keep hitting this tower instead i'm gonna hit him with a i'm gonna miss the q because i'm really good at this video game 
and then I'm going to just hit these minions. And, like, I need my... Just go away. You don't need to stay here and try to kill yourself. I can just hit him with stuff. Like, just throw cues. Really no danger to me to just kind of throw these cues that do a bunch of damage. And if I miss, it's on like a three second cooldown, so like, who cares? I want my support to just back. He, he's gonna die, um, but he's not listening to me. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! See, look, I'm safe. I'm fine. But he's dead. See if I can hit him with his ult. He went the other way. I missed both of them. That's tragic. It is what it is. We can back here and finish our mana immune. Continue to scale. Continue scaling up our mana. And go help my jungler with this dragon and then maybe stop the mid lane from pushing. Because um, we don't want him to get that tower for free. So we can walk up here um, and try to hit him. They're probably doing that, if I had to guess. I'm going to wait for LeBlanc to walk up, and then we'll walk up. He messed up his flash real bad. Now he's dead. Okay. I lost a wave there, but I got I helped get a kill mid. So uh, if something happens here, I can just... Most ult here. And then... Oh, well, he ghosted away, so... I mean, I'll just hit him, but... I'll just do some auto attacks. We don't need to continue on to them. We just get some poke down. Um, and then we get this wave in and we kill that guy because he just tried to back under tower and didn't respect me. So. I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. Hey, pick on somebody your own size. And we just hit everything. Just continue hitting this guy. I don't think he can kill us. We kill this guy too. And, uh, yeah, we're godlike. We're 8 0 and 1. All right. Well, we kill him for free, and we get the, uh. <laughs> we get the, the Herald as well, because Brand got it with his passive, so I was able to just walk up and take it. These, um, Teemo Mushrooms do a lot of damage. is a tad upsetting, but... And Timo just walks up and kills himself. So we just continue to push the mid lane. As of right now, I don't really have a reason to leave, and we can get a tier 2. Well, I wanted to get this tower, but my LeBlanc decided to leave instead, so... I suppose I will simply get this wave instead. Looks like maybe she'll go kill that Lee Sin. Or maybe she'll die over there? Still trying to find out what's happening. Uh, but my Qs do a lot of damage, so we're just kind of sitting back, pelting them with Qs, and kind of daring them to fight us. And I want this tower because it's worth a lot of gold, but I'm kind of in a dangerous position at the moment. I'm going to try to E away. Go this way. I just run down because I don't need to fight this. And with Teemo being on the other side of us, it's kind of scary. Like, there's their whole team here. There's no reason for us to try to fight their entire team in, like, a whole... You better stop! stop! Boom! Like, if I can pick them off like that, that's fine, but unless I can pick them off, there's really no point in me trying to continue to fight them. And, I mean, they're just overcommitting. Oh, I missed my Q. That's so upsetting. He was dead. Uh, but that's fine. You know, we got a lot out of that. I really want this tower. Oh, wait. I already got the tower. <laughs> All right, I'll just back then. I'm going to go get this wave top. They should be able to do that without me. 
Uh, we don't really want to be alone on the map. That's a bad idea. But I'm close enough to this tower that if someone walks up and tries to kill me, I can just go back to the tower itself. Uh, so I just want to run back to mid. Yeah, they're kind of fighting for nothing and dying, which is the worst way to die. Whenever you're fighting, you generally want to be fighting for something. Uh, a lot of times in lane, you're just fighting for lane control, which is an objective in and of itself. But, you know, down here, they're just kind of fighting over nothing. Now they're pushing into our tower. So I'm going to try to come down here and maybe stop them from getting the tower. But it looks like they're not committing to it. So... I mean, I'm just, I'm very strong. I have barrier. I do a lot of damage right now. So walking up and like trying to hit them doesn't really, like them being in a group here doesn't scare me because I just do so much. I don't want to get taunted by Shen or anything. That would be really bad. But as long as that doesn't happen, I should be fine. Didn't get taunted by Shen. Can't get the Q off on him. I could probably ult him, though. Get one. See if we can get the rest. Nope. Okay. I mean, if I can't kill them, that's fine. I, I still won that fight, which was 3v2, uh, which has opened up our team to pressure on the map. So more than happy to just win that fight and then move on. And she's taking that wave, which is fine. We're just shoving for a tower. Um, I don't really need her here, but I don't care about killing him. So I don't know why you're pinging me off. I mean, their team's alive, but we're also pushing top lane, so we want to continue the pressure, at least in my mind. I've been wrong before, but this feels pretty free. Try to see if I can snipe this guy. It was close. It was close, but no banana. I will go ahead and go get my Spear of Shojin and then get back out on the map. Little word right here. Just throw some Qs at people because they do a lot of damage. If they hit, they just do a lot of damage, so. Just throw them at people. We want to go do this dragon. It's soul for us. It's very important. We should go do dragon. Drag soul. Okay, well, I guess we're just fighting here. That's fine. Okay. Well, I mean, a fight started, so I just helped with it. <laughs> she can get a Penta here, allegedly. No, she's going to die, though. She's not going to get the Penta. But we do ace them. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, LeBlanc. We appreciate all you've done for us. We can just end the game. Like, we probably don't need to do anything else. We will probably just end. We don't have the biggest wave. Maybe not. We'll try, at least. We just keep throwing spells out and getting kills. Uh, I go quiet during these fights because Ezreal takes a lot of like focus uh, to pilot, but I should not have shifted forward there. That was a big mistake. Let's see if I can. Ah, well, LeBlanc should clean it up. If I didn't shift forward there, that fight would have been a lot easier. Mistake on my part, but I mean, LeBlanc cleans it up, so could be worse. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and get my Shereldas here. Just full combo that guy, and he 
is sent to the depths of hell. So, and I mean, honestly, should not have shifted forward there again. It's a bad habit of mine, but we can just help him get the dragon, and then we have the Drake Soul. Put a ward right up in here. Just throw cues over this way. Apparently, I hit the Twitch, which is cool. If we fight this, I can just kill that guy. Kill that guy, kill all the guys. And now we can just go shove bot. Uh, shove that to tower and then get more objectives. We could actually go do Baron probably, but we went to the other side of the map, so might be a little late for that. The best macro play probably is to go Baron here, uh, but we're so far ahead that I don't foresee it being an issue. So we'll just shove these waves up, probably take that inhib tower, and then from there, who knows? The world is our oyster. We can probably just go do Baron here. It's probably the best play. I don't want to be fighting this. I'm gonna go ahead and just send it ult here because I thought they might continue chasing, but why are like why are we fighting this? I guess we can win the game off of it, possibly, but. It seems like so difficult of a fight for no reason. What is that? No, I'm done. Yeah. I can get a hex drinker and then go into a maw, which will help with the uh, the Teemo shrooms and the rumble damage. Jungler's dead. Baron is free. We should just go do it. There's no reason not to. And if they come to try to stop us, we can just kill them. And I just sit here and launch cues at it, and eventually it'll die. Free Baron, and then we just go mid. Um, and I mean, to this point in the game, like, yes, I have a bunch of kills and assists, but I actually still have a farm lead over my lane opponent. Um, and that's just the most reliable way to get ahead and stay ahead is through minions or monsters, like whether you're in jungle or whether you're in lane. Most reliable way to get ahead and stay ahead is just to last hit minions and consistently last hit minions more and better than your opponent. Um, and if you can get good at that, then you're going to do yourself a lot of favors when you're trying to climb. Um, it's because kills do give more gold than a minion, but... Over time, minions are worth more golds, uh, and in aggregate, they're worth more golds. So, uh, and they're much easier to kill than champions are. So, uh, regardless, hey, thank you so much for watching. I've been Graham Scrubberfly, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.